Many cells use flagella for moving around. These chlamydomonas swim very fast using their two flagella. At high magnification, the two flagella become visible when a cell is embedded in mucilage, slowing their activity right down. Like many algae, chlamydomonas has an eye spot which responds to light and affects the way the flagella beat, steering the cell toward or away from it. Many proteists have flagella of different length and function. This euglenoid, called phacus, is swimming in the direction of its longer flagellum. These relatives of phacus also have two flagella which function differently. One beats in a coil around the cell. The other, as in phacus, extends forwards. Other algae have more than two flagella. This cell has eight inserted into a deep pit. It normally swims very rapidly and had to be slowed down to have its picture taken. Large proteists like paramecium swim rapidly using hundreds or even thousands of flagella or cilia as they are usually called. They are very agile as they search amongst the pond debris for food. Beating of the cilia is coordinated and the direction of beating is reversed when the cell changes the direction it wants to go. This cell, like the last ones, had to be slowed down in a sticky solution so that it could be photographed. Many proteists also use their cilia to create currents for feeding, carrying nearby organisms close enough to be eaten. These algae are too big for this proteist, but show the currents clearly. This large protestin cell called stentor feeds like a vacuum cleaner. A circular array of cilia around the flattened end of the cell sucks nearby organisms into a conical mouth where it can check out what it has captured. It is feeding here on green algae. Notice that it is quite selective about what it eats, swallowing some of the captured cells and rejecting others. The cells of some tissues in animals have multiple cilia, like these cells cultured from lung tissue. The activity of the cilia is coordinated so that liquid or mucilage can be moved long distances over the surface of the tissue. Flagella and cilia contain a core of microtubules. Using polarized light for imaging the cells, the microtubules show up as a dark, or light fiber inside each cilium.